Hi peeps, and welcome back to my channel. It's another city girl here, tuning in with another video. If you're new here, my channel provides luxury, lifestyle, and travel content. Please consider subscribing to my channel and turn that bell notification button on to be notified of when new videos are being posted. I am also on Instagram at another city girl. Please feel free to head over there and follow me as well as I post more often. So jumping into today's video, it is my entire luxury handbag collection video. Well, quick disclaimer, I have been collecting luxury handbags for about 10 years now and my collection do change, things do come and go depending on my lifestyle and at that point in time in my life. And this is the collection that I have at the moment till the end of 2020. And the first item I am going to share with you from my luxury handbag collection is my Louis Vuitton Alma BB in Damier Ebene. This item was a purchase from over the summer. It was part of my $5,000 haul from Louis Vuitton video. I am going to link that video above in case you have not watched it. But this item has been on my wish list for a number of years and I finally decided to pull the trigger to purchase it. So there are two major elements about this bag that has caused it to stay on my wish list for a number of years. The first thing is that it is a top handle bag. The top handles make it easy for me to grab the bag in and out of the vehicle or just simply to grab it when I leave the door type of thing. Secondly, the other element about this bag is that it comes with that long detachable strap. Um, I like to carry my bag crossbody when I'm shopping or for at least when things were normal and I was doing shopping. Um, I like to have a crossbody bag to keep my hands free. The next item is from Celine. I purchased this brand new at the Nordstrom Yorkdale location in Toronto. And this was kind of in the moment type of purchase because at the time Phoebe Philo just left Celine and they were in the process of changing their logos and some of their product lines. And there weren't a lot of this item left with the old logo. And this is the Celine belt bag in micro size. I have it in the black leather with gold hardware. So I recall at the time when I purchased it, there were none left in the Yorkdale location at Nordstrom. So the sales associate had to call around and she had to call all the way to, I believe it was Vancouver where they had, I think five left or something like that. So I had to order at the store and then it was shipped to me. And I also recall at the time she was telling me how they had someone coming in in a few days time to remeasure everything because they were going to be updating the signage because the logo has confirmed to be changed. So as you can see, the Celine belt bag in micro size is a pretty good size. It's, I would say, medium size ish. Um, I don't have to worry about changing my wallet or any pouches because of the size I can just take out what I'm using from my previous purse and put it in here a couple elements very similar to the Elmo BB that this has is that it has come with a long detachable strap as you can see here you can put it on you it is a little bit short so if you're a tall person you can't really wear it as a crossbody bag I'm not too tall I'm about five two five three and I'm able to wear this as a cross body bag or a shoulder bag. And the last element that I really like about this bag, very similar to the Elma BB as well, is that it is a top handle bag. It does have one handle, which is at the back of the bag. It just makes it very easy for me to grab it to go. The next item from my luxury handbag collection is from Louis Vuitton. When this bag came out, there was a huge craze over it and it's very hard to find. Now I find that it pops up once in a while and I got my hand on it. And the item is the multi-pouchette accessoire from Louis Vuitton. And the one that I got is the khaki strap. So I'm gonna take it out and show you. So unlike the Alma BB and the Celine belt bag, this bag is not a top handle bag. However, you can wear the multi-pouchette as a crossbody bag. I debated about getting this piece because it was really hard to get, first of all. And second of all, I've previously purchased a pouchette accessoire many, many years ago and I sold it because it just didn't fit my lifestyle. And so I wasn't too sure if I would want something that has that pouchette 
element in there however what i really did like about it is that it comes with the long strap it can be in the khaki it also comes with the rose ballerine color and with this long strap it gives me the ability to wear it as a crossbody and have my hands free when i'm out shopping or at least when things were normal and out shopping because um, we are in a lockdown in ontario right now from covid19 The next item in my luxury handbag collection is from Loewe. This was actually featured in my recent haul. I did get this item pre-loved because this particular style is no longer available. And the item that I have is the Loewe Small Puzzle Bag. So going along with the elements of the Alma BB and the belt bag, this is a top handle bag and it also comes with a long detachable strap where I can wear this bag as a crossbody or shoulder bag. So going back to what I was saying earlier, I did buy the Loewe small puzzle bag from the pre-love market and there are two major reasons why I did that because the old style Loewe small puzzle bag features a D-ring on the back and it also has feet on the bottom of the bag as you can see here. So having feet at the bottom of any of my luxury handbags is quite important to me. In my opinion, I just think that having that would help from the leather from scratching as well as holding the wear and tear of the bag a little bit better over time. The other element about the old style small puzzle peg is that it has the D-ring. The D-ring gives you the ability to wear the bag as a backpack so with the long strap as you can see here you can wear the strap as a crossbody bag shoulder bag and you can also detach it on one side and then turn the bag into a backpack with the d-ring which is a really neat element that the new one does not have i believe the medium one i still went to the store to take a look at it does still have that element with the d-ring so but it's just way too big so it's just depend on your personal style And the last item from my luxury handbag collection is from Louis Vuitton. I know this is not a Louis Vuitton dust bag. The reason why is I would have to fold it and then put it in the dust bag. It's just too small and I want to keep it stuffed. And the item I have is the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandolier in the size 25 centimeter. This item is in the Damier Ebene canvas, and I believe I mentioned it in my last video about the Louis Vuitton price increase that this item was purchased on behalf of me from my sister when she was traveling to France. At the time, the price of the Speedy B bandolier was 980 euros. I believe after VAT and being dinged at customs coming back to Canada, the item was $1,460 Canadian in, in equivalence basically. The price now with the price increase is over $2,000. So it's just one of those things again, you know, when you purchase something at a certain price, it's just really hard to rebuy it with the new price increase. Again, going with those same elements as the Alma BB and belt bag, as well as the Loewe small puzzle bag. This is a top handle bag, so it's easy to grab to go. And the other element I love about this bag is that it does have that long detachable strap where I can wear it as a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag to keep my hands free. And here is a picture of my entire luxury handbag collection. This is only till the end of 2020. I already have a few new purchases that I cannot wait to share with you guys what I got. And I will definitely provide an updated collection video in the near future. And as always, thank you so much for your love and support in watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section below, are there key elements in a handbag that you look for? And if you have not already, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Turn that bell notification button on to be notified of new videos. I am also on Instagram at Another City Girl. Feel free to head over there to follow me as I share my luxury handbags, travel, and life in general. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.